welcome to the U.S. Department of Energy Solar Decathlon 2013. These are innovative students who have been hard at work over two years designing and building their energy efficient solar powered houses. They're also helping to protect our environment and leading us to a much more sustainable future. The first place winner of this solar decathlon, the sixth in history in the U.S., Team Austria from the Austria Technology. Winning was just an unbelievable experience. This has been, for all the teams, we can say that it's been a huge, um, just a, such a journey, and not only, not only in time, we've, we've, we've been involved in this project over two years, and to travel all the way from Austria to represent um, the country is really just an honor. It's been a great commitment from all the students in our team. We had about 50 students from various, um, from various professions like architects, engineers, um, communications, media people. And we all did a great job in working together and we pulled it through. <laughs> My name is Marcus Jones. I'm with Team Austria, the first place winner of the Solar Decathlon. Um, you'll tell by the way I speak that I'm not actually Austrian. I'm originally Canadian and I've been living in Austria for five years and studying there. My name is Sabrina Noverlin. I'm the team engineer and I'm a PhD student in Austria researching photovoltaics. So welcome to Lisi, Living Inspired by Sustainable Innovation. Our concept is very open and very inviting. We have a, a, an exterior sliding curtain which encloses the south and north terrace. This provides privacy, also fresh ventilation. The second innovative aspect is our large sliding facade windows. So this allows complete natural ventilation. We have automatic shading. So we've really focused a lot on the passive aspects, Passive House 101, tight building envelope. We had a blower door test. Um, we have very high insulation value, of course. This house is designed for Austria and California. The energy for our house comes entirely from photovoltaics. So we have two arrays in our roof. Um, one, they're both conventional multi-polycrystalline silicon modules and one array is also incorporating DC to DC converters. So what we would like to see in the future is how these two arrays um, operate in comparison with each other. Um, because then we have a direct comparison of these two systems and we can do further research for uh, long-term um, yields. Hi, my name is Kent Peterson. I'm with P2S Engineering in Long Beach, California. I had the honor of actually being one of the three engineering jurors in this year's competition for the Solar Decathlon. Now most people probably don't realize, but there's a lot that goes into the engineering that doesn't necessarily show up in the actual homes that your people are touring during this event over the two week period. The engineering jury starts with a review of the engineering analysis that each team goes through. And that engineering analysis includes the photometrics of the lighting in the house, how much solar is going to be created based on the angles they're going to use their solar collection for both solar photovoltaics for electricity and solar thermal for heating hot water that's in the homes themselves. They analyze on an annual basis how much energy the homes will actually consume and then try and balance that out with the on-site renewable energy that's in the house in order to, to make sure that this house ends up being net zero energy on an annual basis. Uh, some of the homes that did the best in the competition from an engineering perspective not only did a thorough analysis but they actually built some of their mechanical and electrical systems ahead of time, lab tested some of these systems, tweaked the systems to see how they can get the most performance out of the house before they came to the competition site. Now on the competition site we were very impressed with a lot of the teams this year's competition. Uh, some of the innovations that were here for some things that were created that people have invented and actually are applying for patents. Uh, some of it's the gesture technology switches that Stanford University came up with. There's actually a, a couple different ways to do dehumidification. One of them is a liquid desiccant dehumidification system done by one of the teams, which they've applied for a patent on that system as a way to actually use the solar to regenerate that liquid desiccant and pull the humidity out of the air. The beauty of a lot of these homes is how they 
integrated the architecture and the engineering to come up with passive technologies that work with these great technologies that we have today to provide a cost-effective, energy-efficient um, home that someone can live in and feel good about, that it's not having a big impact on the environment, and this is what this competition is all about.